Let's peek at this baby. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Today we are cutting many, many Malawi agates. These four are gonna be cut on my 10 inch saw. And these are gonna be cut on my five inch trim saw. These four right here are very special because they are from the 1970 dig. And all of these right here, I'm very excited to cut because they are Malawi egg babies. Let's get to cutting. So our first cut from the 1970 batch is right here. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Those bands are sweet. It's got these fractures in here, kind of stinkers. But that is sweet. Got some beautiful bands on that one. And from the little saw, our first Higget baby. Oh, oh, get out of town. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So, so pretty. That is so perfect. That is awesome. Now, being that we have many, many more agate babies over the 1970s dig, obviously, we're gonna cut more of the agate babies first. This guy, because it's the biggest, we will save for last. Let's get to cutting a bunch of these ones. So we cut through seven of these little babies <laughs> and I just got to say so far I'm having a lot of fun. We've only cut two open. This is a blast and if you guys want to check out these Malawi agates from the 1970 dig or these agate babies, get them from the gem shop. You can check out the link in the description box below and use code agadad to save 5% on your order. These are so much fun to cut up in. But let's check out all of those seven that the little babies that we just cut. That is a whole lot, <laughs> whole lot of nothing. Maybe that's not even an egg. It just snuck in the bunch. It was a stinker. Anyways, this one, let's check this out. Oh, that's really pretty. A lot of quartz in there. This was a really quick cut. I do remember that thinking, I wonder if there's a geode in there. It's fun doing a big batch cutting like this and then just, you know, show and tell. Oh, that is so pretty. Faint bands in there and some sweet mossy action. Kind of plumy. Very, very cool. I love that one. Another one right here. Oh, it's another mossy one. <laughs> That'd be a real tough one to polish. This is one that I did kind of in a different direction. I just saw a peek of that, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should cut it the other way. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like lit up! Oh my gosh, it's even just got a little micro geo pocket in there. Oh my gosh! That's insane! Look at the bands on that! Wow! That's a keeper, as they say. And I tried to get through a lot. Oh! <laughs> gosh the orange the yellow and the white look at the depth in there watch watch right there as i as i turn it oh my gosh so beautiful so beautiful that's crazy the last of these little ones yeah that's another one it's just like that first one it's not not a naked at all but now we're gonna cut another 1970 well this one right through the middle i just saw that right there almost looks like a fracture like it's got some space to it hopefully it doesn't affect the cut and crack off or anything but we'll see we'll see it's right where i want to cut it so <laughs> might help us out i don't know No! 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> the little stanker bean cracked two times. It worked out in our favor because it gave me a better cutting surface. I was trying to kind of cut through that. It was really, really... Oh my gosh, this whole thing is just cracking out. At least that isn't even like really worth it, right? This is, golly. I can't tell you the last time I had an agate crack apart like that, but at least like, oh, oops. Oh, wow, sorry, hold on. Is that gonna come off? Yeah, get that out of here. I'll get the rest off later. Sorry, squirreling over here. Look at how beautiful the bands are on that. Just these little fractures up here. So pretty, so much beautiful depth in that one as well. Wow, those colors, those are some colors unlike any I think I've ever seen. Those are really, really pretty. The majority of this is truly so beautiful. Well, we are back over to the five inch saw. We're gonna cut some of these other ones that are kind of the smaller ones. So we will cut through all of these and we'll see you on the other side. Out of all of those, there was two of them that cut super, super quick. It was these two right here, and I bet they're like those other ones. Gunky, gunky. Oh, it was not gunky, it was a geode. Quartz nodule with geode. That's pretty cool though. That is sweet, I like that one. And I just wanna say, if you are liking this video so far, hit that thumbs up button. And let me know in the comment section what you think about these Malawi agates. I think they are. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think they're pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Look at that. That's like a scape stone. It almost looks like a tree line in like a winter storm. Gosh, that's so pretty. That is cool. I like that one a lot. Up next, this guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's crazy so pretty this silly spot up here it's just like gunk such a wide range of colors in these so beautiful oh that is so just like smooth so smooth it's like candy that's interesting Kind of funky, got just a, <laughs> it's a little itty bitty, you know, agate pocket here. I mean, there is technically some around the outside right there. That's pretty cool. Two more. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so pretty. So pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> This is my favorite one so far. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful pair. Oh wow. Oh, and like right in here, right there, you roll it. It's got so much beautiful depth. So beautiful, that is awesome. And now we got another 1970s. Where to cut this? Hmm. Got a little window right there. Little itty bitty windows all over it. My gut says cut it right through here. You could get a bigger face like that. But it'd be kind of thin in some spots and I don't really like that. So I'm going to cut it right through there. It's the meatiest part. Hopefully that pattern right there runs through you get a full pattern inside let's see if the theory is right oh it's so creamy like very very faint i thought for sure 
it was going to have some more color in there. You can almost see a little line of orange. That darn fracture right there. I guess you can kind of see it. it runs right through here and up through there. Golly, it's almost like the bands are fading away on this side and it's just like, looks more like Kelsini because there's just nothing, but it's pretty cool. Definitely not the best one, but still pretty sweet. As you can see, we have one more egg from the 1970 dig. Very excited for that one. And we have all of these right here. And some of these have some pretty sweet bands. So I'm very excited to see what's going on inside these. And you know, after cutting a lot of these, I would say that these are probably just a bit big for this. So I don't want to kind of overexert my blade and the saw. So I'm going to bring all of these over to the 10 inch and uh, we'll cut it on here. I also want to say too, if you guys are looking at saws, this combo right here, the 5 inch and the 10 inch is amazing. It's so much fun. I'll have those linked below as well. so unique it's got these beautiful little speckles on there that is so cool same with this this is just wild reminds me of the last one kind of ghostly where this the bands are just kind of looming inside there they have such great depth oh that is so cool oh <laughs> I bet you didn't expect that from this little one. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a killer. That's crazy. Crazy. The babies are just crushing it. Wow. So I do not know what to expect from this guy right here. It kind of pulled apart right there, but hold on. I don't want to see that one yet. Pure moss. I was like, that was a quick cut. It was like, this could be crazy. It's got these funky Betroidal bits up top. I wouldn't even attempt to polish that. <laughs> That'd be so difficult. It's got some beauty over here and over here. But this one I'm really, really hopeful for. It's got that beautiful window right there. Oh, gosh. So pretty. Gosh, this stuff right here. So many colors in this. It's remarkable. We got two more babies left. This one is one of the bigger ones out of the babies. So looks like it's got a huge quartz pocket right here. We'll cut this one and then this one we'll show you back to back. The first one cut very, very quick. So I think it's just going to be, well, you can kind of see right there. It's not totally quartz. It's got a little bit of goodness there. So hopefully it runs deep, but feel felt like it was a lot of quartz. Oh, that is so much prettier than I thought. Can I get this off? I think that is really, really pretty. Beautiful yellow in there. Kind of a purpley blue. That is so pretty. Probably try to chip this off. Make it a lot easier to polish. And this guy, I'm so excited to see inside this. Oh! <laughs> yes! That is one of my favorites. It looks like it is without fractures. Oh my gosh. Right here, this little ribbon. It just goes on in there, it just goes away. This is beautiful. This is one of my favorite ones. And it's got a red, little red part right in there. Holy moly, folks. This is probably one of the best ones of the day, in my opinion. 
Gosh, I can't wait to polish this. This is so sweet. So sweet. We got one last one. The biggest from the 1970 dig. Oh my gosh. I just, hopefully we can get an absolute banger out of this one. I'm going to cut it right down the middle right there for the biggest surface area possible. <laughs> I hope it plays out. Oh, it was a hard cut. It's a good first start. <laughs> Got it exactly where I wanted it. Let's not waste any time. Let's peek at this baby. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm in shock right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the greatest Malawi agate I have ever cut open and one of the best I have ever seen. It's so beautiful. So many colors, red, yellow, light purple, almost like white down in here. Oh my gosh. It's like a little duck's head. That flow channel, oh my goodness. Could just stare at it. Gotta get it polished and then I will just stare at it for like ever. Wow. All right, well let's head down to the shop and I'll let you know what we're gonna do next. Alrighty, so I'm down in the shop and now I'm gonna get trucking on polishing a bunch of those beautiful Malawi agus that we just cut and we have a lot to polish. So this group right here, I am definitely going to be polishing. This is going to be probably the last one that I do. It's going to take a long time because it's a bigger face. This group is some that I'd like to get to, but we'll see. Um, there's a couple down here that are really nice that I think would be cool, but we'll just see. And then also this guy right here, I'd really like to polish, but I don't think it would go well. <laughs> And I know that this is going to take me many, many, many hours to get through all those. It's probably going to take me a couple days to get through all of it. So I'm not going to have you sit through a really long process watching me go through every single piece. I'm just going to whip through it really quick. And I want to take more time afterwards and showing you each individual piece and maybe looking at some of them with a macro lens because there are some phenomenal bands. And I want to take the time with that over showing the whole polishing process. But I am going to be polishing all of them on my eight inch cap king with the res wheels. We're running from 220 to 280 to, boy, 600, <laughs> brain fart, 1200, 3000, and 8000. So that's the process. I'm gonna run through all that. We'll see you when we're all done. Well, I am all done with all the polishing that I wanted to get done for these Malawi agates that we cut open. I did it in two different polishing sessions and I'd say it took about five, six hours. Not too bad, I feel like I got a lot done. So now I'm gonna take my phone with the macro lens and we're gonna take a closer look at some of these Malawi agates.
And the last one here, definitely don't need a macro lens for this. This is amazing. Took a very good polish and the bands on it and the colors are so, so beautiful. Blues, yellow, red, orange, just amazing. Definitely one of the, uh, the best Malawi agates that I've ever cut and probably top top for polishes it's just got such a beautiful color in there really really love that really really happy with how this one turned out with the polish as well because it's such a big face this one alone took probably hour and a half maybe two hours and then all of these took like two and a half three hours something like that <laughs> but really really happy with how all of these turned out they're so pretty and to recap everything from this video i got all of these malawi agates from the gem shop I cut them all on my 10 inch and five inch high tech diamond saws. I polished all of them on my eight inch cab king. All the links for all of that is gonna be linked below with all of the discount codes. And now that these are all polished, I'm gonna take them all and put them up on my Etsy store. It's also gonna be linked in the description box below. So I go check those out. And I had a ton of fun cutting all these open, getting to see inside them for the first time with all of you and then the very enjoyable and almost therapeutic process of polishing all of these. I love it. Throw some music on and just jam out while we work the stones to perfection. It's a blast. And now I'm gonna take all of that and put it into this video and really hoping you all enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment, let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for taking the time to do that. Hope you have a great day, bye.